Psalm 92, 1 through 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning, and your faithfulness every night. On an instrument of ten strings, on the lute, and on the harp, with harmonious sound, for you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. Amen. Psalm 5, 1 through 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning, will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up, for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Amen. James 1, 12-15 Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone, but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Amen. Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians Four, eight. Now, as the deacons collect the tithes, our organist and the church choir will perform a musical selection.
God bless ye friends and neighbors till we meet again for Sunday worship service.